Welcome back, City Scenes Promise. We're now going to meet with a couple of members of Camarillo Rotary Club, very active, uh, one of the service clubs in Camarillo with us tonight are Kathy Long and Roberto Martinez. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the invitation. So I know there are people who are probably very unfamiliar with uh, service clubs or they just lump them all together with service clubs. And um, I know people probably hear the name Rotary, Kiwanis, Lions Club, Moose, you know. But um, can you fill us in a little bit about what Rotary Club is actually all about? Well, the Rotary Club um, is, a, is the longest serving service club in the world. It is? It is. Wow. It started in, in um, uh, uh, Illinois, Chicago. Right. And um, it now has over 1.2 million Rotarians, wow. 33,000 clubs globally and locally. And we work together on both global issues and, of course, local ones, mm -hmm. too, that we care about in our community. We're known for the End Polio Campaign, right. which is... Um, has been very successful over a long period of time, but we are down now to having no reports of polio in the world except for three countries. Well, and that's interesting because people here will say polio, that was something when oh, that's they, right. But in yeah. a lot of underdeveloped countries, it's, it's still, still been a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. still very prevalent. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the projects, and we um, globally work on water and sanitation, mm -hmm. public health issues, education is one of our key things, um, and uh, we, we, at the local level, do projects and, and raise funds to support similar areas of interest. So, oh, cool. Yeah. A lot going on. You guys yeah. are busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. So if you could just take a, a quick moment for us and do just a little bio. I'm sure people watching just recognize who you are for us, Kathy, um, <laughs> because of your service as, as a county supervisor. But could you elaborate a little bit for us? Well, I'm um, retired now, and I love it. <laughs> I was county supervisor for 20 years, lived in Camarillo all that time, and um, was engaged with a, a lot of nonprofits in the role of supervisor. So that's why in my retirement I'm continuing that. Um, so I served um, prior to that with the prior supervisor. So a total of um, 27 years with the county and uh, wow. years before that in political offices. and. Um, so public service and service above self is part of who I am. So I've loved that retirement. It gives me more time to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Roberta? Um, so I am the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Camarillo, and every day we fill a supervision gap for about 400 local youth. And, you know, we um, are fortunate to be supported by the Rotary Club of Camarillo and, and many Rotarians who see value in what we do. Excellent. Wonderful. And it's yeah. people, I think people are always amazed that how much kids can get for so little there. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's great. Yeah. Um, so now you guys meet, you correct, I think I think <laughs> I got it wrong the first You guys are meeting every week now, right? Every Wednesday. And, and wow. your guys are a lunch group, and so where do you guys correct. meet? Um, we currently meet at the Center for Spiritual Living at 340 Mobile Avenue here in Camarillo. We meet at noon. Our meetings end at 1.30. Um, and in that hour and a half, we get uh, a lot accomplished, we have outstanding speakers, good lunches, a lot of just um, camaraderie with fellow Rotarians. Yeah, I was looking on the website and I noticed that one, a couple of your speakers, they were on our show uh, last month, the Camarillo uh, White Horse Film mm -hmm. yes. Yes. ladies. They, yes. were, they were there. Um, interesting. Yeah. So, wow. so if they were on our show, they must have been good speakers. <laughs> oh, they were, of course. They, that was a fascinating <laughs> documentary yeah. they're yeah. working on. They expect to have it finished by February. Mm. Wow. Great That's opportunity fast. for us in Camarillo to mm -hmm. showcase the history yeah. of Camarillo and the horses, yeah. the Adolfo Camarillo. It's amazing. I look forward to it. So is there something I hear about an exchange student program that yeah, you have? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about well, it? Well, it's Rotary um, across the board has exchange student programs, and we've okay. been engaged with one for 29 years, I think. Wow. Um, and locally, we have had exchange students, and, and we have Rotarians and otherwise who agree to be host families in the community that okay. they... Um, come to stay for the year. So oh, for we, a full year? A full year. We just um, welcomed uh, Carolyn, who's from the Netherlands, and um, she, she stays in our community going to Adolfo Camarillo High School. And, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful to see their growth over a year, yeah. mm -hmm. both, in, both in how they engage with Rotary, but certainly just being in the community and the right. school. 
So what yeah. happens if they get into a house with a guy like me who struggles with English? I mean, do they? <laughs> we, we won't place her there. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine it, what you would learn. Are there <laughs> any uh, language issues sometimes that come up, or some of these kids no, are? No, most, most all of them are English proficient. It's like um, every other country the, teaches their kids to speak uh, English. Yeah, three yeah. and four yeah. languages. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so not only that, but there's some great learning opportunities on both ends, from yeah. the, Absolutely. you know, what they bring from their culture and they share right. with us, and then what we're able to share with them as well. Right. Every year we're able to sponsor some of the youth and they attend our Rotary Youth Leadership Academy as well as a cross-country trip with um, you know very good supervision and they're able to check out some of the um, you know key tourist attractions of the United right. States of America. They end oh, their amazing. visit with that. Um, wow. And so we receive students and we send students. That's fantastic. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Again, another international program yeah. that all rota Rotaries do. If they yeah. So could you tell us a little bit about your involvement with the Wings Over Camarillo Air Show that happened last month? Sure. So last month, you know, our, our motto is service above self. Right. So if there's opportunities in the community for us to get involved, then, then we want to jump on board. So last month, our Rotarians volunteered at the Beer Garden, and we were out there on Saturday and Sunday serving beer to the community, and we're going to be able to earn some funding for that. And what we oh, do with wow. our funds is we're able to share with the nonprofit mm -hmm. community. There's a, a Rotary Foundation, and organizations are able to apply for funding, and we support all sorts of different charities in our local community as well as overseas. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, that's really neat. So let's look at some photos. Here's the uh, famous Rotary seal. I mean, a lot of people who maybe just recognize that's the seal. That's a Rotary wheel, yeah, yes. Rotary wheel. Um, and that's our four-way test, and it really is that service above self focus. And again, that's one of our major uh, right. global fundraising right. events and uh, causes. That's a program that has been uh, started by Paul Dwork, uh -huh. our wonderful Rotarian who <laughs> has Merlin Supply, and he started Rotary Creates Magic. It's turned into a two, uh, one day, but two um, performances. Uh, and it's held at the Old Moore Park Theater, ah, and he brings right, magicians yeah. in from Magic Castle. Yeah, he, oh, wow. He's a big time. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's a big time. It's a great. Yeah. It turned into a great yeah. event for us, and it's very community focused. Yeah. Well, for so many local families, it brings high level entertainment right here to our backyard. Right. Very cool. high level. And that's a picture of us. We give out scholarships every year to students, um, both in a four-way test and. Um, and 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 it's mostly the the high school high school uh -huh. kids who are going on to college and so that's an example of some of those kids who've received uh, funds from Rotary. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. We don't have any administrative oversight, so all the monies we raise go back out into the community. Wow. That's a check presentation to Casa Pacifica. We mm. have been raising monies for Casa for over 10 years, and it's now up to over a million dollars that Fantastic. we have been able to raise for Casa through a golf tournament. Uh, it's an annual event in July, and it's great fun. Yeah, I wow. see Al yeah. Lowe there on the on the. On the oh road. yeah, Al's, <laughs> Al's been a leader in that. Uh, that's one of the exchange students from prior visits. And okay. They love to collect pins, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 And that's a program where the, in the center is Kevin Nunn, uh, and and he went on a rotary visit to another country. Oh yeah. Yeah. They yeah. allowed Kevin to go into another country. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> And that, of course, is, is a, a great picture of the Rotary Track Meet, yeah. which is held annually in May. Okay. And reach out to um, fifth and sixth graders? Uh, we reach out through all the way from third all the way to eighth That's grade. That's right. Wow. Third day. Yeah. And you know, even today, we'll meet people who will talk to us about you know, when, you know, when I was a, a, a child growing up in Camarillo, I participated. I still have my ribbons all right? and, and, all, and everything that it means to them. So it's, uh, it's a really good community event. How long has it been going on? 49 years. Seriously? The H-Rap wow. uh, track, uh, track meet. So old enough that I would have been able to compete, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah. You could have. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, as usual, we're, we don't get to all our way through everything. Um, but uh, so just give us a high point. What's, what's the website for the uh, CameraRotary.org. Mm -hmm. Is and there a contact number for someone who wants to come by and see what it's all about, maybe come to a meeting? Oh, just come on by. 
at noon. Again, um, that's yeah. uh, every every Wednesday at the every Marquee, Wednesday. Marquee right. Club on Mobile. Right. And to clarify, there's two Rotary Clubs in Camarillo. You guys are the noontime group, and yes. the other group in Camarillo, they're the ones that meet in the morning time. Sunrise. Yes. Sunrise. Uh, right. And they've, they've worked right. with you guys on the golf tournament. I no, we've, we've done oh, some yeah. great collaboration both ways. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Well, yeah, we, we um, um, quite a few projects with them. So, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, and Roberto's our president-elect nominee. So oh, okay. <laughs> he's next in line. So, so. so cool. definitely <laughs> some, some big shoes to fill. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank really you. Appreciate, appreciate it. the opportunity to yeah. show. And